um, what's it called? They're a lot less like crazy, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Um, and, and I've got a lot of questions about them. Awesome. Like, it was so annoying because, you know, um, I didn't have any replays for the first time. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly I have these really long games against diamonds and I just don't know what to do. Yeah. Um, okay, let me just... Sorry, Lil. Uh, okay. On my account. Ah, yep, yeah, I've got them right here. Neat. Uh, is it possible for you to just come on America and then I can just watch with you? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Or do you want me to upload them to GG Tracker? I can come to America, it's not a problem. Alright, cool. Like, come to America and just fly to America really quick. <laughs> yeah. I'm already there. It's not a problem. <laughs> Are you? Of course. Oh. Okay, I just need to add you there as well. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, true. Um, yeah, just drop out and the number is 11411. Okay, which is quite easy out. to remember. Ah, uh, there we are. Neat. Perfect. Oh, you're Master in America as well. Yeah, with Mac. Mac? Mac, playing Mac. <laughs> right. Um, let's switch one, would be better. Uh, we'll go with the really... This one, this one's a... Ah, uh, this one. <sighs> awesome, so I make you to the leader. So you can open a replay and yeah, then you yeah, make yeah. me into post. Yeah, awesome. so you can control the replay. Alright. Um, sweet. So this is a TVP for some backstory. Mm -hmm. um, it's oh, against cross. a diamond, I think, if I remember correctly. Correctly. Um, so my main thing with this is I have, I have some hunches on where I went wrong, mm -hmm. but I can't Con I can't concretely say where I went wrong, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So, again, my macro is probably not fantastic. Um, uh, how, how did it work out for you with the Supply Depot idle worker trick? It's pretty good. I've definitely been getting Supply Depot blocked less. Okay, that's like, good. Um, but I haven't had much time to practice with it because it's something I kind of have to get used to, if you know what I mean. Yeah, of course it takes it takes like one yeah. or two weeks. But I like it. Start. I like yeah. it. It's very simple, you know. And it, I'm just learning at what point do I start making two at one time. You know what I mean? Yes. Start yes. getting more production. That's that's a thing you just need to get a feeling for, like as yeah, as well yeah. with the killer instincts, when to go in, when to not to go in, when to drop, when better to retreat. Those those things, sure, I can watch all the replays and tell you exactly, but this is very situational. Over time, you will get a feeling for it. Uh, yeah. And then you have some basic instincts, which helps so much. You know those Jedi senses some pros have sometimes when yeah, they yeah, anticipate yeah, yeah. a drop without even knowing it's there, but they just are, well, I scouted that, and I think it should hit right now, and then they walk in, and then it hits, and they are like, whew, got it. Yeah. Yeah, that happens uh, with, be, with more experience. I can do that shit. Yeah. Okay. Orbital command, Reaper, standard stuff. And yeah, I just command opened. center on the low so This is just good. Reaper Reaper expand, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, a little bit late on my expand for some odd reason. Mm, I think I think I know what just happened there. Let me let me see. Was I like shift clicking the racks or something? Yes, I think that's exactly what you were doing. 
<laughs> I yeah, I normally <laughs> try my best to not do crap like that. Mm-hmm. Like I try and get stuff building before I do stuff that isn't. So yeah, yeah. I could have made the command center and, and then, then shift click. Yeah. It wouldn't have made a single bit of difference, kind of thing. I try and avoid that because yeah. I understand it. Like the mule could be coming down right this second. And so you... this is the two one one. Mm-hmm. Okay, you very soon need the supply depot. Uh, I think you start the supply depot a bit too it. late. Yeah. Normally, I think I get it before the factory or the second barracks. Right. Um, your barracks is no, it's still a... no wait. Yeah, your barracks is like four seconds too early. Right. Uh, at and the supply two depots. minutes straight, you get it. You will see it will be a little bit supply kept, I guess, with the SCV. Six seconds supply depot, eight seconds. It's not massive. Yeah. Um, but those those oh, seconds. It's like two seconds. Though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's it's a small thing, but the yeah, end the factory uh, is very late. Yeah. Everything. The factory is. Oh, what did you say? Sorry, the factory is late. Yeah, look at that. If you have the gas, go is for it. it. Ah. Yeah, you, you have the gas already. You should have gotten it. Yeah, yeah, I, I just yeah. thought I didn't get it yet because I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I just had that I had that assumption. So as as soon as you have the gas, like right now, or now. maybe now, you will now. get... Because you have... Look at that. You The problem why you didn't yeah, get the... Look, look, yeah, exactly. So having one SCV queued up is okay, but two is too much. And... That's the reason why your factory is so late. You did overproduce, but at the same time, basically. To be to be fair, in this game, I literally didn't. I wasn't going to get the factory at 100 gas. Like I wasn't aiming to do that because I, the one replay I watched where I like watched someone do this build, mm-hmm. he didn't get the factory as soon as he had 100 gas. So I was just I just presumed that you okay. always didn't. Well, if you get it on 125, it's also fine. Um, but yeah. something li- like right now you should get it because you have the gas for the tech lab and you have the gas for the factory basically it's fine you see how perfectly it lines up bam yeah yeah so you can do it and you will have if you immediately saturate the gas which is very important not to forget there you go awesome yeah. um, then you will have enough gas for immediate stim and behind that the starport as well yeah. what I do like is that you did find the probe and you are killing the pylon which is okay the only thing is, you're not scouting at all. So if you do this, send out an SCV for to know where right. your opponent is and what he's doing. Um, he could yeah. go for one base DT and you wouldn't know. And it could yeah. completely screw you up. So That's killing true. the pylon is nice, but it denies so much scouting by because you're attacking it currently, which takes like one minute or so to kill it. Yeah. And then, I don't know, if, if you go up now, which you probably will, then you will scout him at the last position, last. and then yeah. for the overcharge, adapts, you won't get in at all, you don't know where the pylons are, and then you don't know where to... Sc- there, you see Dark Templar, bam. And <laughs> p- potentially, you won't scout it at all. Yeah, no, I don't scout it. Yeah. At all in this game. But, I do something else that helps which you'll see I am... Mm, you are skipping a lot of production of your of your barracks. Currently. Yeah, it's just because our supply block sort of, which is bad. I don't uh, think I do the trick in this game, it takes me a little bit to... Okay, yeah. No, you also had um, SAVs queued up way too early again, so you had no minerals right. for the marines. Right. So now the Reaper goes in. The good thing is you see the gateways, the bad thing is you're attacking the gateway. I don't think I'm looking at it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... I have to focus so much to macro there, and mm. then I get into the game, yeah. I, I would, if you scout with the Reaper, I would not attack command. Like, it's mm. it's okay if you, for example, would attack command until here. Right. And then shift-click just around sense. the base. Yeah, so that makes sense. So you, you will get, get a scouting. probe or anything if there is one, uh, and then you can just go in and see what's going on. Um, yeah. Even if you don't click the Dark Templar Shrine, you could assume it is the DT shrine if you scout it, because yeah. it wouldn't make much sense to put a pylon right next to another pylon at that location. And it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it could only be a pylon. So, yeah. Because it's smallness, it could only be a pylon or a, a DT shrine. Yes. 
And if you if you see the Twilight Council, it's most likely to be a DT yeah. shrine. Yeah, if you see a Twilight Council as well. Yeah. And at kind of this time is pretty... I mean, here you did scan uh, because you lost the Reaper, which was awesome. You see everything you need. Yeah. I don't know, did you see the DT shrine finish? No, okay. But if you would have clicked, then... I clicked on it. Okay. Because then, look, I make missile turret. Awesome. Yes. That's good. I think I need to get, get another one here. So... Okay, I'm gonna tell you like a broad thing about this game. What ha what happens in this game that frustrates me is um, I held off his DT, but then he completely like out macros me, and yet at the mm -hmm. end of the game I'd still I'd been way more cost efficient than him. Okay. By like a lot, but I okay. still lost. Mm -hmm. To be okay. um, one thing I didn't know is that. He had like six bases, <laughs> and wow. I did. I just didn't know he'd take six bases because mm -hmm. okay. I I never really go, get to games that long. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was there any uh, one thing you could look at um, for me? Is there any points where I could have won? If you know what I mean, or any points mm -hmm. where? Okay. Yeah, because I'd much like to. I'd much rather do like a strong timing attack and try and end games. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we will we will look at that. So first of all, th this turret here is too much. You don't need that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the turret right there is awesome. That's a perfect spot for a turret. Ah, cool. That's really good because that's you want to have the ramp and your uh, production secure as well, so that the uh, yeah. Darth Hempler don't snipe you, concussive uh, shells or tech labs okay. reactors etc. Okay. What you also did scout is with your scan there is no uh, robotics bay uh, facility I mean so yeah. you don't need to spread out mines and turrets on the edge of your base uh, to prevent DTs to come in so as you can see it's just moving in with the DT like at the front and he shouldn't yeah. find any damage um, you did not produce supply depots at the edges of your main base in this game so far uh -huh. So those two no, you had in the back of your main, yeah, you could have had yeah. there, and also let your factory do something. Like it should never be idle. Get get, get uh, combat shields, of course. I don't know when you will fire it up, but also widow mines are awesome. You're getting a tap lab now for tanks. I think that's also fine. Look at the turret. Doesn't do anything for you. I don't think I even cancel. No. <laughs> But you got oh that scan oh no I know, I know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh okay mm, that Pretend that hurts <laughs> okay yeah yeah so far you have still some um, lags in your production sometimes um, watch watch this this is hilarious uh, oh boy what exactly the starport. It is okay. You don't really need it against Dark Templar, no. but if you feel safe, it it is okay. It's what it's I not ended up doing actually is I didn't realize it took priority with all the spells over the Marines, yeah. and then it ended up screwing with me my micro a lot. Mm, okay. With well, the what use what of stim. what I what I do then? Well, I I use more control groups, so the Raven will yeah. always be on two. But you can also have the Raven following your Medivacs, for example. Just click it on I the Medivac. That, actually. I okay, that. and then okay. you don't need to have the, it in the control group. Yeah, I like to box and like do stuff like that, and I keep mm -hmm. selecting the damn Raven and uh, all sorts of stuff. I use ghosts in this game, spoiler alert. Okay. And I think okay. I control them okay. I don't get Cloak, though. Yeah, Cloak is the one thing many people forget. It, 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 yeah. it's, sometimes it's expensive, then you can't afford it, because you need the 3-3 three, three upgrades. And then yes. you just don't think about it anymore. Mm, you are very, very passive in this game. Yeah, maybe it's. I was thinking that. I was like, these are these were the two things. Are uh, three things actually. One, obviously, a macro wasn't perfect. Mm -hmm. Um, not even close. I mean, uh, it's okay two. with the armory. That's that's a good timing you hit right there. It's a bit too early because the the thing is basically. If if the plus one upgrade would be the plus one armor upgrade, then it would be perfect. Yeah. Um, like right. that, it's still one upgrade too early. But at least you got the idea of yeah. plus one finishes, and you get those both. But in this situation, they are too early. Uh, but still, it's it's okay, I think. Uh, let's let's see what happens next here. 
you are at least hitting quite a nice timing with the plus one attack upgrade. Yeah, uh, that was that was actually an idea, but obviously I was meant to get the armor upgrade. That wasn't intentionally mm -hmm. not gotten. Um, so ah, this fight okay. here I goes see. horribly, and it's my fault. I do this so badly. I'm ashamed. Okay. I just don't like. Well, you fight away from your widow mines. Yeah. Mm, it's. Yeah, and you fight in the photon overcharge. Yeah. So instead of attacking like that. Yep. What you did awesome, I think, was you scanned. Bef yeah, you scan his army, and you see. Okay, he, there he is. So you see, on fortified position with the pylon, the mothership core, full energy, a deaths, immortal in the back which is hard to get and then you decide okay I'm gonna attack right there instead oh. of setting up the widow mines here and take out his third base I didn't know he had a third because I'm thick <laughs> <laughs> you can assume a protoss has a third um, mm -hmm. just check it before if you see his army there you wouldn't attack even if he hadn't a, a second base, a third base, you wouldn't attack into that, potentially. I mean, with your yeah. army you could, it's bigger, you got upgrades with good micro and focus fire, you could have won this fight easily. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is possible, like like focus fire the immortal, get the PDT there, build the widow mines right under him. So this would, have, this would have been the fight, this would have been my like win condition here. You could have won there, yeah. I... You missed the widow mines, ah. like... Yeah. If you look at that, normally you wanted to go into the uh, third base and kill all the probes, kill the nexus, and be massively yeah. ahead. Um, so this PDD is too early and too far away. Mm. It should have been like here, like yeah, yeah, much, that, much closer, closer, way closer, because you are advancing, and the PDD yeah. should cover everything. And then your two widow mines are completely out of position. It's like with the tanks. Yeah, what you are doing good is fighting, uh, killing the. Mothership core, but then you're just now. Yeah, you need. Hmm. The, the problem is one half of your marines is fighting the left side, while the other half of the marine is fighting the right side. So yeah. you are fighting, as you see, with the warp in, he creates a concave, and so his troops fight better than yours, while like more. How, how should I say it? More effective. Efficiently. Yeah, efficiently. Okay. Right. And and that's the thing. If you would have gone in. Hardcore, away from the photon overcharge, and the mines would have been right there where he warped in, for example. Yeah. And he couldn't have warped in there, he would have been forced to warp in either behind his mineral line on the natural, which would take forever because the pylon is not near the nexus, or on top of the ramp, which it's hard for him to get down if your marines position there. So mm -hmm. positioning would have been very important. Or what you should have done, maybe, is um, with the Marines focus fire his warp ins because if a unit gets warped in, it takes double damage. Really? I think really? It's still, I, st I still think that's how it works in Legacy of the Void now. Units which are warped in should take double damage if I'm not mistaken. I will I will later um, watch uh, uh, look it up on on Liquidpedia to be 100% sure. But yeah, I still think that's, that's, very useful to know. that's that's true for now. I, I mean, we can just try it. Let's 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 just <laughs> try it later, okay? Yeah. Try out warp in uh, damage, okay? Yes. And then and now you can't attack. You need to retreat there. The Raven is so breached. It's good that it doesn't die so far, but standing there is is not good at all. Like. No. This, I this just, I remember my thinking, and it was quite dumb. It's just I wanted my widow mines, I guess. Yeah. Okay, you get the most awesome pilot ever. That's very good. But uh, losing a medivac, okay. I yeah. this was like, oh wow, he has a third. <laughs> <laughs> well, he took his third in this game. Is I think at the six minute mark, which is quite late to be honest. But he opened DT, so it's okay. Yeah. What I thought, I guess, was, oh, he's DTs, he's going to expand really late or all in yeah. or something. So, the problem is, you can see with your macro again, 
you have so many overmints, so much overgas, and while you are on three bases, you don't. Mm -hmm. you, I, I think you didn't. No, you, you didn't uh, constantly produce SCVs down there, and you didn't go up to eight barracks and a second starport. Yeah. So yeah, you can do a lot with macro still. Yeah, definitely. So. Yeah, if you would have gone to the third base and have the widow mines right here, just attack, get a PDD for example, or, or you didn't even need the PDD there, to be honest, or the turrets. Just attack there, and then because you scanned, you know, okay, his army takes 10, 4, 6? Six? 6 to 10 seconds, depending on how fast he reacts, to get down there. And then he will walk into widow mines. So in this 10 seconds, you could have easily thrown down some more barracks and, and just macro up behind it. This is the thing yeah. with the multitasking. You need to find the small windows all over again as Terran to macro behind your actions out of the field. So, and yeah. if you if you focus on that, you will find more and more small windows which you can use to macro, and then your macro will just get better over time. Even even some, cool. uh, I mean, if you, if your Reaper, for example, is uh, against Zerg, for example, you micro your Reaper, bam 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 bam. And then you s you are like okay now I jump in into the main base from from down here to down to up there and this time those three seconds you should then go back throw down a supply depot get additional barracks get the saturation and so on and then jump back to the reaper and micro him back so as long as you don't stutter step you can just yeah. shift command him like left down right go back, blah, 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 jump back to the Reaper. And the more you get yeah. used to this, the faster your multitasking will get. Those, those are the small windows. And they happen all over the time. Like the windows between a drop and macro, or a move out and macro, or maybe, maybe if you have a big engagement, there are also holes which you could use, potentially. Uh, yeah. It's not the worst. Your macro is okay, but it could be just better. Could You're be definitely better. Well, you, I'm, you know, I'd obviously want to keep improving. Yeah, of course, and I'm sure you will. So, way too many turrets at your. Look at that. <laughs> instead, instead of three turrets, just get a bunker with four marines. Yeah. <laughs> I would say always, even in TVT. You c look at this DT. How much damage he did there. From one DT. Six, seven, eight, nine SCVs killed. That's massive. Yeah, that's that's really massive. So one bunker and in look, TVC he's and starting TVT. Starting his fourth base, and I've only yeah. got you know. I do snipe a nexus here, which is awesome. And then you need to retreat. You dealt your damage, and now you're trading away all your army for nothing. Yeah, I suppose it was just I didn't know I would. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah. So. That's that's that. You just wasted a lot of your army. Unless, just imagine sniping the Nexus, yeah. and then kill his fourth. Bam! But you didn't know it because you missed a lot of potential to get vision. What should I put there? Marines. Right. Just one marine sure. everywhere and never use the all army hotkey. And you would see, okay, no, I, I can go use back. The all army. Exactly. That's that's the good thing. Um, yeah. But you need to get the advantage of not using the all army or key with getting the vision up. So sweet. I don't know. To think of it, I do that as Zerg, and that was always something really good. Is I have literally a link yes, everywhere. I yes. can see the entire map. You have you, know? the, you have the speed links there. You have overlords. You have creep spread. It's like you see yeah. the whole map. And as Terran, it's yeah, the it's same. Like and as, as Protoss as well. Just have observer and and the pilot somewhere. And as Terran, it's supply yeah. depots and marines. You can have you can build a supply depot here and and two here. It's totally fine. They are not yeah. that expensive. Especially the good thing is on, on the bridges like here and there on that position, two supply depots close this. Then put a widow mine in front of it, and if any circling run by comes in or bang, you get warned because they attack the supply depot first, the widow mine will get a huge shot off, potentially kill a lot of banelings or maybe salads or adepts going through, yeah. and it gives you so much time because he needs to get through it, so you get warned, or he goes all the way around through the watchtower where you should have a marine. Or he gets a warp prism, which is somewhat of a um, 
dedication towards aggression. If you kill, if you kill the war prisoner again, that's also good. Um, do I keep making widow mines throughout this? Yes. Or would you? All always. They are so good. I mean, you don't want to overmake them, but it, like eight to twelve, it's not bad to have them. They yeah. are cheap. They have awesome splash damage, especially in your league. Look, look how clumped his army is. Just imagine three widow mines, and he moves over it. If you can yeah. kill the observer somehow, then he won't see it. And then you can get lucky hits. For example, kill sentries, bam, or get get the high templar. If if he doesn't have an observer with his army, you can focus fire with the widow mine key units like the high templar, which are clumped, or sentries. Yeah. And suddenly half of his firepower is gone. One widow mine can. Yeah, one, I think one Widow Mine can kill all those High Templar with the Splash. They have the bonus damage against shield. Should be enough. Yeah. Yeah, the High Templar have the same amount of health and, and uh, shields as the sentries. So you don't need to focus fire. But just imagine there are four or five Widow Mines in front of your army. And he needs to he needs to clear it, which takes him time. So his, his yeah. Stalker needs to be up front. He doesn't even have Bling, so your Marauder can shred through those. And if he commits, mm. you just pull back. It's like the same in TVC. Marauder at the front for concussor shells, poking, kiting, killing stuff. If he commits, pull back to the Widow Mines. And if then you have Ghost and Liberator, if he comes in, two MPs hit his entire army, stim in with a concave and just crush him. Mm. But yeah, vision is most important. You are getting the Watchtowers now, which is nice. Ah, but I do get the Watchtowers. It's yes, very late. That's that's... That's true. It's late, but at least you get those. So, but you need to f to get the vision on the bridges as well, and, and on the potential next bases. Always yeah. the next bases. You don't stop the next at the third base. base. Really screwed me here. Yeah, you don't stop at the third base or the fourth base. If he has the fourth base, you want to have marines maybe here as well and there, just to yeah. know what is he doing, when is he getting. It. And one marine is much. You can also borrow widow mines, but I would go with the marines. Yeah, I'll just go. So you're getting ghosts? You, okay, did you get the Liberator range upgrade? So far, no. That's sad. Because this upgrade is so good. And you're only on 6 barracks. You I want do to get go it just up now, to it's, it's a bit late. 8 racks, 2 starport, 1 factory. Is that alright or is that not many? Um. Six racks is not enough. You want to have eight. Oh, wait. I don't, I don't have eight. Yeah. I yeah. Six. What you can do is um, you can go to five racks on three base at the second starport before the three racks and get the range upgrade really early. But to, yeah. in order to do this, you're not allowed to use your medivacs because you are dedicating a lot of resources to the Liberator. So yeah, you are yeah. not allowed to use the Liberator nor the medivacs. As you just I don't really know how to use Liberators because I missed out because I didn't play Terran when Legacy mm -hmm. came out, and then I stopped playing. Yeah. So I, I've watched programs, but uh, you know I don't quite with, know with how to the, use. With the range upgrade, it's getting way easier. So um, you don't want to to have all the liberation zones at once like you have here. You want to have a yeah. spread out field. Like if you have a widow mine in the center of each liberation zone. For example, that's the radius of the Liberator, basically, almost. And you want to cover right. as much space as possible. So as you are spli uh, splitting the Widow Mines to cover as much space, the same um, is for Liberator as well. So right. instead of having I'm four... Split, I'm trying to split them. Yeah, instead of having four in a line, you want to have it like that. And maybe a yeah, fifth yeah. one in the center and then go out of it and just spread it out. So if he goes in, he's like, oh my goodness, I can't attack at all because he doesn't find an opening. Right now, he could put... Okay, this position is, is a very good one and a bad example, but just imagine right next to the Liberator, this this uh, space wouldn't be empty. Yeah. So there could be units. Then he would find a very huge opening because right. he could flank you. In this position, it's okay. But if you go further, then I don't know. And you're using all five ghosts. I would just use two instead of five okay. because they could die so fast to feedback. And two yeah. ghosts are enough for EMP assault army. You don't need all five. Right. I've never used EMP before in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this is the first time. Because <laughs> I don't like long games. Yeah. Not great EMP. 
<laughs> Not at all, no, but it's it's okay. You just need to practice it. So yeah, yeah, if yeah. you if you're I, I don't know, did I send you the unit test map? Uh no. Oh those the MPs were good. Yeah, was you got fault. all the high templar. It was his fault for going through that whole mm -hmm. Okay, but this fight here goes really badly. Yes, look at the conquer if you get. And where are your liberator? So what should I do here to not mess up so much? Um so what you did great was let's see. You get oh it's lagging. Uh oh. What's going on? Okay, now we go. So as soon as you leave your liberation zones, you want to re siege them. Basically, right, right. you have to. Otherwise, yeah. you would need to pull. Look, look at how far you would need to pull back in order to make him fight in your liberation zones. That's never gonna yeah. happen. He it's will never. In this fight, I just don't have liberators technically. Yep. Because they're so far back. Exactly, and then you're yeah. you're fighting into his bottleneck. What you want to have is him going through the bottleneck, which is not happening because he's the defender, and he got the yeah. nexus there. So you still don't know sadly about that base. It would yeah. be so awesome to just get two medivacs, maybe even just one, with the marines yeah. and drop his base there. Because then he's yeah. like, okay, he needs to warp in, which he can't because he's maxed out. So he needs to attack, which means if he attacks into your liberators and your ghost with the EMPs and your marauder, which have, uh, the upgrades are quite even. But then yeah. it would still be bad for him. But yeah, in this fight, the EMPs were good, you hit half his army, which is decent, you stim in, but look at what your army does. Most of your army is, is not attacking, but moving. The marines want to move, right. they don't attack, and for him as well, but he only got 6 or 5 stalker not attacking, while for you it was half his army, and then you move even further into his concave, getting completely obliterated. Yeah. So that was if you very would've... frustrating at the time. Yeah, and then you lose uh, almost all the medivacs. L look at the damage the Liberator are doing here. Yeah. Just imagine having them with your army and not going into the bottleneck. You would have won this yeah. fight quite easily, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, and now you're still on six barracks, so you can't replenish what you just lost. Nah. And you never went back to 66. SCVs, and you never took the gases on your third base. Uh, yeah. In TVP, you basically need it. Eventually, you go into Liberator Ghost, and they, they those are your gas sinks. Where you need yeah. a lot of gas. Otherwise, you can only make Marines, and Marines are garbage against Adept, Storm, Colossus, Disruptor. You still need some Marines because they have the best DPS, but you need something else as well. And if you can't afford it, then that's bad. Yeah. And now would be the perfect time. You you don't want to sit back and do nothing. So yeah. I know it's hard, but start dropping. You are behind, then you need to start dropping. Yeah, yeah. So he doesn't have overseer. That's the good thing. In your league, most people don't have overseer spread out. So as you can see, the bridges you want to have, he wants to have vision as well. If you would have three medivacs with Marauder right here, boost into his main base and kill all his tech. What is he gonna do? Or maybe the pylons, he can't warp in. And then you attack there. Bam. Then he's so yep. spread out, because his army is right here, which you would see if you would scout for it. Does he have a mothership core? He never remade it. Awesome! Without the mothership core, you can drop wherever you want. Yeah. He can't punish it. Not really. He would need to warp in, which he can, because he, look, look at the gateways. He has, he has 13 gates against your six barracks. Yeah. Wow. And that's why he out macroed me so easily. Yes. If he got double robo, it would be even worse. Yeah, I don't know why he doesn't. Just a mistake. Yeah. He also never went for a tempest against the liberator. Yeah, but at the same time, I didn't really use them. So yeah. I suppose he's. You I have up, two liberators. Yeah, you, you went up to nine medivacs. Six is okay. In TVP you don't need... Yeah. Eight is not... The, those EMPs were really good, but again, same mistake. 
fighting into the bottleneck. And also, yeah. I just wasn't gonna win that fight anyway. No, no <laughs> chance. I mean, now you spread out better, but yeah. still, the li look, little look little how long, look how lo okay. Let's let's just see how long this fight goes. Okay. Okay. So we are at 18. Let's see. Yeah. When does this? When does the fight really start? Okay. So let's say right now, 18:5. Uh, maybe 1810. Okay, 1810. Start right now. Fighting and fighting, still fighting, and you're still fighting. 10 seconds in the fight already. Maybe we go into 20 seconds in this fight. Oh yes, we do. Nice kill on the Colossus, and now you pull back. Okay, let's see. 20 seconds. The Liberator shoots basically every second with 85 damage. You have two of them. So let's let's yeah. just do a little bit of calculation here. You have two liberator with 85 for like let's say 18 seconds here, 17. You missed yeah. out almost 3,000 damage in this fight. Yeah. A stalker has 80, 80. So you would have killed 18 stalker within those 18 seconds. And with and with the EMPs it would have been even more because they're losing yeah, all their shit. Exactly. And now imagine right. you ha would have had 6 Liberator or 8 Liberator in position. He would have yeah. had no chance at all. No chance at all. Yeah. So those are the, the, the basics of, of how to fight which you are currently missing. Your macro, yes, of course, it did cost you the game as well, but in this situation, the bad fights it just took. Right. Because the bases he had, yes, it was nice, but that's not the point why, because um, it's just the reason why you lost. Yeah. And here, I just left, because I didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I literally just left. Okay. Interesting to call down mules there. Okay. Yeah, go. Okay, you got no. You got 16 SCVs on your third base, which you could resaturate somewhere. Um, what you what you also could do, but you would have had needed to do it way earlier. Like, let's see, let's go back here. Because the lift was okay. The idea behind the lift. Let's see. Um, oh wow. I just realized now. What's what's that? <laughs> what's that? <laughs> that was a mistake. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I see. So I think so too. So yeah, that yeah. okay. Normally it doesn't happen. I, I know. No, what you what you could no. do? I mean, you went for the Raven, which delays your your the liberator medivacs. and such a lot. Also the medivacs. Um, I also don't think. Did you hit the? 100 supply at the 7 minute mark. No. I think yeah. I was too freaked out by the... No, it's PC. looking good. Look at that. It's... I can't really see it. It's Don't not... Me. It's not too bad. So... Oh. It's it's quite okay. It could be a little right. bit better because you could be on 110 because there was almost no pressure in this entire game. But yeah. it is it is okay. No, what you could have done is way earlier. Like, as soon as you have 4 medivacs, you can go up to six, but most stop at four medivacs and then go into yeah. Liberator already. And if you have those four medivacs into Liberator, on this position it is hard to do find an opening because you would need to go all the way around to not yeah. let him see. But if you have two Liberator and four medivacs and you drop right here, he doesn't have blink, so his stalker he made can't go up the ramp. He can't blink up, mm. so he needs to warp in and he has eight gateways. And because you know now that warp in will kill, uh, uh, they will take double damage. You can focus fire down with stim. Even if there are pylons around with four medivacs, yeah, you can kill a lot. And you can just kill his entire main base and win f out of it, or at least deal real damage. If you then lose your medivacs and your liberator, it still hurts a lot, but. Yeah. You can deal so much damage that it is worth it, especially when you're behind macro up and kill his third base or go in at the exact same time. So it is okay yeah. to have eight marines at the watchtower, for example, waiting and just run in with stim. It's okay while you yeah. do this drop. This this would completely have killed him. Yeah. Like the drop you are doing, uh, the attack, I mean. If instead you would have just dropped, 
you are missing one medivac, sadly. But yeah. just imagine going... So you, you had so many opportunities to deal damage there. Dropping into his main go-around, and with the Widow Mines and the, and the Raven lock down the ramp, or just set up a trap and get his uh, third base, which you didn't know about, but yeah. Yeah. Those were the potentials. You could have won here, right here, basically. Yeah. Which is sad. Yeah. I see it. I see it now. It's good, though, because I couldn't, I really couldn't see it, you know? Mm hmm. Like, I knew something was wrong when I was re watching. Like, I knew 100% that yeah. this is not what I see good players on Twitch and mm -hmm. et cetera do yeah. when I watch them, you know? Mm -hmm. But, um,. I couldn't figure out what I was meant to do, if you know what I mean. But yeah, that's good. Yeah. There's a lot of good points. Awesome. So let's watch the other replay. Yeah. Okay. I was also salty about the other one, naturally. Mhm. Mm okay. Yeah. I, I wasn't. I wasn't super like angry or anything. I was just a tiny bit tilt, I guess, just because mm -hmm. um, I'd won. I just hadn't stopped winning, you know. And yeah. then I played unranked and faced actually diamonds and got wrecked. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can steamroll platinums with my eyes closed, but, I, you know, platinums, you know. Yeah. It's pretty low for someone that used to be X Master. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, with so. Yeah. Then I see diamond, which I also used to be out of steamroll, and I can still to this day with Zerg. But when I play Terra and I see the diamond, and I just get destroyed. <laughs> You're. Platinum 3 currently? Uh, currently, but this account's a bit wonky. Okay. I reset it back to bronze to mm -hmm. try with Terran again. Oh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's on its way up. But I think I'll get stopped at around Platinum 1 at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, surprisingly, TBT is going great, which is very strange. Oh, wow, okay. As anyone who doesn't play a race, you know, mm -hmm. a mirror matchup should be really bad. But yeah. Uh, it's going great. <laughs> I don't okay. know why. I hate it. Yeah, I don't good. like TVG either, but it's... No. Well... It's a uh, Okay. Yeah, now you pull... It's it's okay you pull two because it took you a while to do so. Yeah. So it's, it's fine. But then you're chasing way too far. Yeah. Are you scouting with the SCV now? Because, as I said, the Rex SCV is gonna scout the Protoss. And you're not scouting, and he is not gonna go for a nexus so far, and you would need to know that. Which you again completely skipping a scouting. Yeah, I guess I just get tunnel visioned on the pro the yes. pylon. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's nice that you killed the the pylon, but just imagine him going for a proxy. Stargate, which is yep. not coming now, but it could be. The Oracle would hit you at 3.30, and you won't have enough Marines out in time. No. At all. And then you need the eBay, so you need to know what's coming. And the Reaper stops. <laughs> okay. And, yeah, okay, you did scout now the... Oh, that's sad. It is. Yeah, now it's really difficult. You can't fight that. With a bunker, you would have been fine. Yeah. Oh, good damage on the MF3. I like that. Ah, dropping the new there was risky. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. I mean, the traits are not <laughs> looking bad for you, but just imagine he would spend his 1.5 min K minerals. You would be so dead. Yeah, the, he's the, really... The, the sad he's thing really is... Dead in the first, like, yeah. 10 minutes. May, maybe he's, he's really off-racing as well. The, the only yeah. thing you are... Uh, reason why you are still alive in this game is because he's just playing really not good. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't want to say this, but... Mm -hmm. He, he's on one base, so he doesn't have to do much. He's dedicating to a heavy attack and then floating 1.5k overmans is just not good, sorry. For a diamond especially, you know. Yeah, so, normally diamond. 
But he does play really well at the end, so I was mm -hmm. thinking okay. maybe something happened to him in real life. Could could be, yes. Because he, he picks it up, you'll see. He plays like it's not Legacy, though. Mm -hmm. right yeah. The he fun doesn't part, use a Legacy unit. The fun part is, even though he dealt some damage, he is still heavily behind. He has less probes oh, with double mules. So. Yeah. Okay, yeah, double I bunker is... Mm, you, are, you are so scared because you didn't really scout much at all. And it's hard to repair those bunker. I mean, one force field would completely block them off. Yeah. Completely. So, so force if you if you get a bunker right here, or maybe no, okay, maybe not at the ramp because there are so many dis destructibles. But at least a bunker on the open field where you can get a full surround. What you yeah. what you did in Heart of the Swarm now not so much anymore was you had the bunker there and the SCVs on front in front of the bunker because of yeah. the salads. So he did force feed the back of the bunker so he can't repair and the salads go attack. But if you have the SCVs in the front of the bunker, he needs to force feed there so the salads can't attack. Yeah. That was the thinking here. Against adapts it doesn't work like that. But still you would have had more surface area to repair the bunker if it's over on the open field. And now you're salvaging the bunker already again. Okay. I should have taken a third here, maybe. There you go. I mean, it's still in time, if you like. Gun isn't his, uh, getting a third early as well, so it's totally fine. And the Protoss is very late on his third as well here. He's heavily committing to a two base attack so far. Oh, medivacs. So my army cannot fight that, right? Right, no chance. F four sentries and the Colossus. No chance. How would I beat this? Even if you had more army, it would be very difficult. Um, first of all, you need to know, does he have a third base or not? If not, right. then you're fine. Currently, you don't know. That's, that's sad. So you are like, oh. What do I, I do if he has a third? I just take him uh, If he doesn't have a third. If he doesn't have a third, you can, you're safe. You just macro up and, and scout for it when it's coming down. And just yeah. produce heavily units and get your tech done, your uh, your upgrades. You don't even need to take your own third base. It's okay if you do. You don't need yeah. to. Um, yeah, go up to five racks. Macro hard behind that. Get. You can go for Liberator in this situation. If he yeah. went for Phoenix, however, then I would go double starpot Viking. Basically, Vikings yeah. are better against Colossus. But having some Liberator and then switching into Vikings works out as well. So three Liberator would be fine if he commits to Colossus, which he is. Then you want, of course, having the Vikings because they have more range, more damage against the Colossus. They just take them out faster. Yeah. Um, but this army, even if you had, would have had like six more Marauder more and some Marines more, it, it's very difficult because of the force field. You could try to rush in, focus fire something down, load into the medivac boost out of it before you use too many units to, to trade, yeah. but you can't kill this army with what you just got, um, especially because there's a pylon in front with the mothership if it would come down. Very difficult to find any damage here. He, he moves out because obviously he hasn't taken a third. And yeah, yeah, he's, he's on, on two base. He wants to... He so knows he, I'm on two at the moment. Yeah. But. Ah, uh, he sees it, that's sad. Yeah, because there is an observer on top of your army. Nice force fields. And that's the reason why you can't win against this army with what you got. Yeah. Because of the force fields. So, so how do I beat force field again, sorry? Like, um, you can try to bait team. it out. So that yeah. you run in and pull back before he can, can trap your units. Yeah. Which is risky, but it can work. Oh, you can, you need. Okay, if he's there, you could set up a flank. Come from three ti three um, sides at the same time. Directions. That works yeah. as like well as this force field. Yeah, exactly. That works yeah. as well. Um, on two base, I wouldn't do much at all. Like, try to go in and find some damage, but not overcommitting. It's, it's hard. You need to just try it and find what works for you. But if he's on three base, you can start dropping. Yeah. 
on two base, it's it's very hard to find damage against a Protoss who is on two base. If he is yeah. uh, on three base, then you find an opening. You can drop here, be annoying a little bit. You can drop here and then still in to kill the gases and some probes. If he is defending on the, on the third base, you have two choices. Depending on if you see his mothership core, then that's a good tell. If you don't, then it's risky to go into the main, so I would better go back, kill the rocks, yeah. so that you are a constant threat. Um, Protoss is so strong, if you, wo if, if you would move across the map right now, you would be basically dead. So what yeah. you need to do is pinch him back into, onto his side of the map with constant pressure. Or maybe even only threat, you don't need to commit to it. But if he knows, oh my god, he, he, you could go in with a drop right there and there, then he has to panic and, and macro out and, and yeah, stay back while you can get your production rolling. Like the eight barracks and the two starports. If you hit that, and he's still on three bases because of your threat or pressure, then you are in an awesome position. It is very difficult to kill a Protoss in the mid game if you are not constantly finding damage. Like a double Widowmine drop at the same time in the natural and the main base. Right. If you don't kill probes the whole time, or because trading army with Protoss efficiently is difficult. So the only way to fight damage is due to his probes, I would say. Yeah. And on two bases, that's very hard to find damage. So I don't want to say there is no way, but it's difficult. It's really difficult. Okay. So it's better to play it smart and safe, which you are doing right now. Look at that. And now drop, drop. Ah! Okay, he sees it. How about his army is there? The problem, he did see it because of the observer, I guess. Yeah. Normally, let's let's check where is his observer. Let's go one more back. How did he see it? It has to be because of the observer. Otherwise, he wouldn't. Yeah, he sees it. There you go. Yeah. Which is sad. It is. So yeah, normally there was a time where the observer was right on top of your army where you could have scanned and killed it. Yeah. And that's yeah, and then you go into the main base. Th that's what I just talked about. It would be safer to go into the third uh, back behind the third base. Do you get the Colossus? Nice. But you traded away twenty f Marines, a Marauder, two <laughs> Marauder for a Colossus. You get two sentries, that's nice. And uh, another ship. So, currently you lost 2,000 minerals and 350 gas against 1,200 minerals and 800 gas. The gas is nice that you killed so many high value units. Mm -hmm. If only you wouldn't have lost the medivacs. Yeah. Then it would be still okay. As you can see, the army supply is quite even. You got a Colossus, which is nice. Normally, in TVP, if he would have opened up with a normal timing, uh, the ops hits you at 4.30. So if it is normal Nexus expand and he gets the, the Twilight and the Robo, for example, then the Observer will be on in your main uh, natural at like 4.30. Yeah. If you see it, you can see the observer. That, that's now some high level shit, to be honest. But if you scan it, he doesn't know anything about you. He needs to do another one. Uh, again, you're fighting in the bottleneck. If you would lure him in, he, now, bam! There where his force fields are. If, if his army is there, you got the awesome concave. Yeah. You're focus firing, very good. So that's, that's going for you. You you have Thank the you. you have the mechanics I would say to to take a fight, but the positional thing is still not working for you so far. Yeah. Ah, that's really yeah, that's horrible. So you you know what, what to focus fire. Um, you you basically also know how to do it without sacrificing too many units in the process. I I sometimes see many many people. Um, going for the Colossus with the focus fire and they pull back and their army is chasing like five seconds into the entire Protoss army without shooting yeah. and then he just loses and you seem to know okay when to focus fire, when to go back, how to kite but the positional play is still one thing you need to work on. I guess I've just, because I've always been a Zerg and the only thing I have to worry about as a Zerg, especially before Ravages mm -hmm. and all the 
Leg Legacy has got so much more positional units added. Yeah. Like Liberators, Disruptors, Ravagers, are, and mm -hmm. Lurkers yeah. are all position only kind of units, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And I guess I'm, I've just never really worried about positioning as much as you have to now. Mm hmm. Because with Zerg, it's just like, I'll just go from the back, the front, the left, the right, you yeah, know? Yeah. With a bunch of stuff. I mean, it's the same with Terran Bio as well. If you get the awesome concave, like 270 degree or even 360, that's that's perfect. You can yeah. you can win against a Protoss army like that. Okay, you got a lot of sentries, but normally, without Vikings, if you get a 360 surround, it is possible. Yeah. Because the Colossus do so much less damage if you if your army isn't clumped. Especially yeah. when you, uh, if you have some units going even further towards the Protoss army to tank the Colossus shots to prevent the splash even more. I just noticed. I just noticed this guy's biggest weakness as a person. He doesn't have any upgrades. Yeah, he's just wow. now getting the double fortress. What I really did like up until now, you only used, and this is a very fresh no one uh, in your main base, the supply drop. You just w used it now once yeah. because you were on 100 supply up to 149, so you stopped doing the idle worker trick. But I think here it did yeah. work very nicely for you. Yeah. And that's that's awesome. I think the biggest, yeah, like, so this this game was, my positioning in fights was bad. Like, definitely it's, needed, it's, I just needed so to think sad. about positioning. Yeah, it's, it's so sad if you think about it because you have 2-2 two, two against 0-0. Zero, zero. I know. I didn't know he was zero zero. I never checked. <laughs> How... He's got really good observer coverage. Yeah. You only have one star point, so you need a second one. Yeah. Uh, versus Colossus for Vikings at the time. That's that's that because now you have no Vikings at all, and on this map it's very hard to find an opening against this composition. Because yeah. of all the ramps and, and bottlenecks, it's, it's very difficult. You're really nice splitting here to set up a concave, but he has so much freaking splash. Look at that, how he takes this army. Yeah. He just kills you, and I know why you are salty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I totally understand it. Um, because it feels, it feels so bad. If you, yep. if you watch that, you are ahead in army, ahead in... in Upgrades. Uh, upgrades, but your army is just not high tech it's enough. Too, he has it's very low tech. Uh, against those those many colossus, you want to have three Vikings for each colossus. For colossus. Yeah. Yep. So like twelve in this situation, and then ghosts, like always ghosts. Even if he wouldn't go high templar, ghosts are awesome. Yeah. Just imagine two I guess ghosts. I'm, I'm so like new to them that I just. Yeah. I never think to make them, I guess, but um, I guess I just will start making them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you would have... Like, another thing. Games never go longer than, mm -hmm. like, 11 minutes for me. Okay. <laughs> so this is all just so new. <laughs> yeah. This is all the stuff I only see on Twitch, but never on my actual screen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know? Yes. So, um, Ghost... So against Storm and Colossus, you know, like, that's... 100% you can't fight that without. You can't yeah. fight Colossus without Ghosts, but as soon as the High Templar come down, you need Ghosts. And yeah, 100%. At, yeah, so even even if you would, wouldn't would go for High Templar now, Ghosts would be nice. Just imagine two Ghosts. Just for the shield. And look at the Sentry energy. Yeah. You would kill all the Sentry energy. If yeah. he wouldn't have, like, 12 Vikings, he has... 13 Stalker, that's okay against 12 Vikings. So with the buy, yeah. you could chip away. You could chip away on the Colossus with good kiting. It's possible. He doesn't have blink at all. All your Protoss you show me don't have blink, which is awesome. <laughs> your Vikings would do so much damage here. So yeah. then, then the what, what he's doing here is you're splitting, which is nice. But then the storms hit, and he traps you with the force fields. So all his high tech units are used against your tier 1 and tier 2 units and you can't win this fight. No matter how sick you would have microed, this fight wasn't winnable for you because you lack the Liberator, which you could have had 3, 
but more, more importantly, the Vikings, of course, and the Ghosts. Yeah. Without the Storm and the Force Fields, this fight would have gone completely different, especially if you would have had the Vikings to kill the Colossus before, before the game. Um, yeah. I don't know if you saw the, the Bian game. I will link oh, I watched the end. I watched um, the, the highlight. Bian versus SOS. Yeah, the highlight. How he I, kited I the with the thing, Vikings. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw that because the out Vikings outrange Void Rose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, he and couldn't. he had he had. I watched so... the entire thing like when it was on. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I wasn't playing Terran at the time, so okay. I wasn't paying too much attention. You should watch and this then game I again. It, I watched because... it again. Yeah. Uh, twice the entire yeah. thing. It's it's While such was, a good um, game a because there you. there you see he's getting the third base all at at six thirty to seven minute very late yeah. but it works and he sticks on two one one the entire time but he can do yeah. it because he's dealing constant pressure and damage with his marines and his medivacs without really yeah. losing them even so if he loses them he makes sure to get the most value out of them and with the yeah. Vikings you saw before the fight even happened those ten seconds he killed like all the void rays and two thirds of Most all of the, the colossus. colossus, yes, and just then he takes the fight and shreks through it, which you could have yeah. done exact the same, especially because you got better upgrades. You are up four upgrades. Yeah. It is so sad that you lost this game. Yeah, both this and <laughs> yeah. the last game. Yeah, right. Were very depressing games. But but the, the nice thing for you is you see you can win them. It is yeah. doable. So. If you just adjust a little bit with your positioning and your army composition and your macro, yeah, like here you are on six barracks again. Go up to eight. Yeah. So eight racks. And I, uh, I wouldn't chuck down a fourth here, would I? If uh, this fight didn't happen. Definitely check the fourth. Like here, here, and here. Yeah. Also in TVT. And TVP, if he isn't taking a fourth base at on a normal game, don't let Maybe me lie, uh, seven nine. to eight minutes, I would say. Right. And he doesn't take it. He doesn't even attempt to take it. Send a Marine on all the bases to, to scout for sneaky bases. Just do it. Yeah. Um, in TVT especially, it's not that common in Legacy of the Void anymore, like it was in HOTS, but it still can happen, yeah. and you will bite in your ass if you don't scout for it and lose because you got better eco without you knowing. It's so frustrating yeah. to lose to some cheesy base. So I would, I would try to do this. Cool. So seven, seven to eight min, I would say, Toss should take a fourth base, depending on how the game goes, of course. Uh, if yep. you have constant pressure, in this game his natural was late already, so his third was late already, so the fourth will be late, um, yeah. but normally if, if you fight a macro-oriented Protoss, then you will you will see those timings. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Is there anything left? Any questions? You said in the beginning you had lots of questions, and I think we. I, I was don't mostly know just this, these two games, but mm -hmm. I've got, I've got a few, th I've got a few extra things to work on. Because at the moment I've been working on um, macroing mostly, and just not messing up my macro so much. It's still um, the most important th thing to do. Yeah. 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 I'm still working on macro, but I will also try and position fights better. Which is odd, because TVT I win like every game because of positioning, but I guess it's just different positioning. Yeah, um, with the tanks, it's it's somewhat different, yeah. Yeah. I hate TVT so much. Mm, me too. <laughs> you, don't, you don't got any cheeses, do you? I mm, fucking hate TVT. You have three racks, and that's basically it. Three racks doesn't work, because everyone scouts for it. <laughs> Immediately. And then it opens, like, a... Uh, Barracks, Factory, mm -hmm. um, Reaper, Hellion. Yeah. You can you Otherwise can beat you can beat it with three Rex Reaper. What you can't beat is if they scouted and go for Marauder with concussive shells. Then you're so doomed. Right. But if they open up gas gas first, Rex, Factory, Reaper, you can win this. But you need to have really good micro. You need to secure right. your own first Reaper while killing his first reaper to make it snowball. If you don't get his first reaper, 
um, then it's getting very difficult. So what, what right. I do in TVT, for example, with the three legs, I, I pull two SCVs immediately uh, if the game starts here, if I'm on your position, get only yeah. one SCV, get the supply depot right next to the command center, then mm -hmm. Rex, proxy, gas, another Rex, saturate the gas, get a third Rex, uh, the Reaper, of course, uh, at first, before the third Rex, um, is the third Rex going in my main? Or no, also proxy. proxy. So I, you can play a macro-oriented three Rex, like it is in TVC, where you get constant marine production, uh, SUV production, and your three Rex in your base. I'm playing an right. all-in. So I get only one extra SUV in total. Yep. So I, I can, I can, I can show, I can... Uh, Could you SUV give me that build? That sounds... Because yes, I, I love yes. three Rex. It's really At fun. At the start of the game... Um, then only make one SCV, depot, Rex, gas, Rex, Rex, no wait, Reaper, Rex, gas, depot, uh, pull second SCV, which did build... I can't even type today. Build the second Rex on attack command into the enemy's main. And then you send in yeah. the Reaper as well. So with the because with the with the SCV you want to go for the Marines or the Reaper to make yeah. it work. So you need to deal as much damage to the Reaper or the SC or the Marine, whatever there is in order to make your Reaper kill those units. If you manage to do that, then you can snowball so heavily. If not, it's getting difficult, but you still can do it. So the, the one SCV is very important. You can choose to pull the second SCV, which built the third Rex also, but normally there is then a wall off, you won't get in, so I just pull it back to the main base. Right. And then you have six SCVs on gas and six on minerals and you are full all in. Yeah. Okay. You can also I play Sounds this I, I play this quite a lot. Sometimes in in on my streams you can check out if you find those those uh, games on on YouTube on my YouTube yeah. account. So just just look through it. You will definitely find at least one or two games where I play play this proxy uh, Reaper style in TVT. You should. If yeah. not, then I can send you a replay as well. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't. I would. I would appreciate a replay at some point, but you know. Yeah. No. No huge rush. Okay. Because I just. I don't know. It just sounds really great. I'll. I'll look for it on your channel though. But um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you type out the build just then or no? I did just type the build in the notes. I will send you now. Ah, cool. Are oh, you yeah. doing notes? Um, of course. No. Yeah. Sweet. If I don't forget it, I do notes and the recording stuff. Cool. Yes. I want to get a good coach. I just had one guy. <laughs> I just had one guy who is GM uh, posting oh. underneath my Reddit. Um, yeah. Uh, wait. I, I I want to I want to quote it because that was so funny. <laughs> he he got up. He got oh, down. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. Um, I downvoted it even. It was yeah, that yeah. guy that. Exactly. Um, he's like, I can, I can coach way better than this guy. I'm way better than this guy. Yeah, blah, blah, yeah, blah. yeah. I it know. It was the worst pitch I've ever heard. I've ever seen. <laughs> I got my first like, troll. Yeah, that's that's gonna get you people definitely. The the, the nice, th yeah. The nice thing is, now I know I'm doing it right because otherwise he wouldn't care. You know. Yeah. The fun part is he has minus six uh, downvote, uh, like minus six points already, which is so good. Yeah. It gives it gives me so much confidence. Confidence yeah, here. In the here, I offer paid coaching. I'm GM with Rand, but top fifty with Terran. Five bucks on your first on on your just message me if you're interested. I'll get you masters and better than this Alex Sasha guy in no time. And I just posted. Which which I think is a smart uh, thing. I don't do I get it? I can't find it because it's downvoted. There we go. I just said being GM doesn't mean you're a good coach. Being a good conqueror doesn't mean you're a good leader as well. And yeah, yeah. Such like, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I... How many upvotes does that comment have? Uh, three points so far. It's it's funny. Are you sure? Because I, 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 like, um, I spend a lot of time 
uh, waiting for classes and etc. Because mm-hmm. I live far away from where I like school. Yeah. And uh, I just go on our StarCraft and go on like every single post, and then I watch like games and etc. Mm-hmm. You know, I live when I'm when I'm into StarCraft, I live and breathe it kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, which is always fun. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Okay. So I've I've downloaded the notes. Awesome. Uh, I'll look over them, but I think I'll just practice a few games. Mhm. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank cool. you very much again. You're welcome. I'll definitely use your advice and definitely fix my positioning, and work on my macro some more That's and my vision. You. Yeah. Vision. Vision. vision yeah, exactly. Positioning. Yeah. Uh, scouting in general, just a little bit more, especially mm-hmm. at the at the start when I'm tunnel visioned. Yeah. Eight racks instead of six on three base. Star mm-hmm. an extra starport, quick quicker. Liberators actually use them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That'll help. Cool. Sweet. I think I've got all the knowledge now. I just need to practice it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so too. Should Sweet. get you Thanks into should get you into diamond at least. I think. Yeah, yeah. I'm fog- taking it one step at a time. Got to get to plat two first. <laughs> yeah, that's that's yeah. that's good. I like that approach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's much less depressing and annoying. Yeah, right. Because if you if I'm aiming for masters, which is my goal, as masters, mm-hmm. um, if I okay. aim for that right the second, I'm just gonna get frustrated. Yeah, I see. Yeah, and I'll probably like end up going back to Zerg, which I really don't want to do. I much mm-hmm. prefer Terran. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Much more potential. Nice. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'll probably talk to you again sometime, most likely. Awesome. Sweet. See you, man. Okay. Good luck. Have fun. Thank you. Bye.